Hello, Ender's Sword here again. This time, another video with uh, former Rain Future. You may have seen him in past MLGs. He was just in the WCS uh, USA competition, and he's been a Gosu coach for quite a while now, over a year and a half. So we're just going to go through one of the uh, popular builds out there right now against uh, the Zerg, which is going to be a Sentry Immortal All-In. So tell us a bit about what we're going to see, and then we'll just... Uh, launch into this yeah sure uh, this, is, this is one of the more popular all-ins and actually probably one of the strongest all-ins in the game right now so we'll kind of be going be going over this how, like how to get to the stage and what what kind of numbers you need before you move out for the century all in and the goals that you're trying to um i guess achieve with century immortal all-in all right so let's uh jump right into it three two one and go and we are going to run through this on two times speed. You'll still get the, the gist of it. So as in our last build, you're mining first. That's mm -hmm. yep. always a good Very idea. important to get those probes out. Yeah. Very, very key. And this, uh, this all ends a little bit harder to hide since the buff that's the uh, Overlord buff, but right. you can still hide it pretty well. But a lot of Zergs don't even scout too well, so <laughs> you will send one Overlord and give up. So if you have that, maybe that first stock, you leave it at home to kind of corral the Overlord. Right. Um, you can hide it pretty well. But even if the Zergs see it coming, it's really kind of tough for them to deal with regardless. Right, right. And is there anything kind of, again, that the Zerg player is going to be doing that indicates, oh, I shouldn't be continuing with this belt? Mm, it's hard to it's hard to tell. Like, you kind of have to go with it. Um, the, by the time you figure out what the Zerg's doing, it's too late. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. the, I guess the only thing that kind of hard counters is if they go Zergling Baneling drops. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can see that. There's you knowing that. <laughs> Even Muta isn't too bad, especially if you hit the timing, so he has to like defend with the Muta, but yeah, right. Zergling Bailing Drop is kind of destroys it. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, that's a very uncommon thing. Yeah, that's not too popular at this point. Yeah, and you, even you could maybe potentially hit before they get um, the upgrades for their overlords. Yeah. So. So you're gonna try to make it look like a normal pressure. So you'll still go out that Delm sucker, try to like apply a little pressure, make him force some units early. Okay. And you're checking to see if he's taking a third there. Yep. So what's really usually they're gonna take the third there 80% of the time. I was a little worried at that point. I'm like, okay, I need to find because if he does not take a third, I have to get ready for an all-in. Right. Like, he's probably going to be all in me. At least in the Masters Leagues. I know sometimes um, below it, Zergs will just take a third later, so right. don't think yeah, that if you're a Platinum player. Like, that's that's certainly true, yeah. Say, yeah, Platinum Diamond not having one at seven minutes is not necessarily the end of the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be a little cautious, but don't, like, go crazy and make five cannons. Maybe make an additional can and try to get more information. Very true. So I confirmed the third. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, probably, usually builds list that they're going to do with that. Usually it's either like Mathling or like Roaches. Uh, or like some type of Investor build, but that usually hits later. Right here, you're just kind of powering your economy. Um, I usually like making around, I mean some players will stop at like 44 probes, uh, but I, I don't really like that because I, I want, even though it's kind of an all-in, I, I do want the ability to maybe expand off of it, but 9% you know, of the time you won't be expanding off of it. I, I still get more probes, like I, I should get more than this, but I'll probably get around 50 to 53, because even though like 2 is kind of per perfect mining, you, you, do get, you do get a little more, Whoa. it's diminishing returns, but you still get some more minerals off. Um, oversaturated uh, mineral line. So. Right. 
And then, yeah, the magic number here is when you move out of the three immortals around 12 centuries, and then you'll prone out a warp prism as well. Okay. So that's, yeah, to allow in the mobile warping in. So obviously yep. the key to this is just really good force field control. Yep. Uh, making the segment sure segment little yeah. portions of the army. Yeah. Like, just biting off a couple roaches. You don't even want to. You don't even want to force field a lot. You just want to force field a couple. Sometimes even prevent them from. You see how he's isolating like little parts of his army, and if he's not killing his immortals, it's just it's it's snowballing right now. And if you go to the units lost tab, like I I I've lost like nothing. Yeah. Just literally. Yeah, literally it, twelve it, it, units at this point. Yeah. Yeah. My my force fields are low. So I, I am warping in some more sentries. They have a couple forces. I'm using the terrain against them. See, I'm using the hatchery against them. See where I'm positioned and as well. Like you don't want to, you don't want to have this fight to like be in the middle of the map. Like because then you'll have to force it a lot. But I, I was just kind of abusing the terrain. And even when I was, I I killed this group that was countering from behind. I force fielded that little choke at the uh, left right. side of the watch. So those roaches, he couldn't send those in the battle. So. Um, just really being aware of your surroundings with this, and be patient with it. Um, you know, if if he's going mass roach, this is it's money. Like you, you don't, it's you don't even have to worry. Like there's no like timing. Sometimes players like freak out. Like I have to hit at this point, but no, just take your time. Better to gather yourself. Maybe come 30 seconds later. Um, yeah. As long as you you know you got all your stuff like set up. So yeah, and I mean um, he's, he, like, at, yeah, he's going to be having to make units this entire time too. So it's not like his economy is improving behind it or anything. You're, you're kind of locking him into that mode. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And if he tries to counter, like you'll see at my my main base, I walled off with another um, gateway there, and I could probably put another cannon there as well. Um, but yeah, I don't have to worry about any zergling runbys. That's that's very important. And and it, and it is important you wall off. Don't just put a zealot there. Like he can just if he counters like eight or nine roaches, that right. that could be really bad. And that taking away from your warp ends on the field and stuff like that. But with that wall, it just buys you time. So when you see he's like, you know, sent a portion of his army to your base, you just go for him. Like, like, all right, that's fine. Have fun knocking down a gateway <laughs> wall. I just like force field your roaches. So looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's definitely one that I'm gonna play around with. You see the the immortals. Obviously, you can just look at the kill count on each of those: twelve, seventeen, fourteen on just three immortals and i noticed you even stop building them after the three and just yep. go for the kind of gateway cover units that that prevent them from getting attacked basically yep so. yep and then just one 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 up yeah nothing very yeah, just yeah, nothing it's all <laughs> yeah oh yeah definitely definitely is all right well thanks for showing that uh, to us and where can people find you out there yeah uh I, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch TV. My Twitter is future underscore SC, and my Twitch is future underscore SC as well. And also, you can check me out at gotocoaching.com. Uh, you can request a lesson there, or you can email me personally at future at gotocoaching.com if you have any questions or uh, concerns. All right. So thanks for coming on. And yeah, people uh, hit up Future. He does a lot of commentary during his streams. He plays with his stream viewers, does like mono battles, does team battles, and will occasionally even just take a suggestion from the stream, like go void race and, <laughs> and you'll do it. <laughs> so, <True. laughs> so it's a very, very interactive thing, sometimes even at his own expense, <laughs> but, uh, but a very, very fun thing. And uh, usually reasonably like low stream numbers so he kind of listens to and responds to everyone so uh check him out and future thanks for coming by thanks for having me under no problem